Greetings everyone, I am Dr. Yasser Osman and I am going to talk about local anesthetic in this lecture. Local anesthetic drugs, basic pharmacology. Local anesthetics are drugs that reversibly block nerve conduction by blocking sodium and potassium ion channels in the nerve membrane. This will inhibit transmission of autonomic sensory and motor impulse, resulting in sympathetic block, analgesia, and anesthesia in the area of the body supplied by the block nerve. All of them have a vasodilating effect except cocaine, which has a vasoconstrictor effect. They do not produce satisfactory anesthesia if injected into inflamed area because the increased acidity of the infected area will decrease the activity of the local anesthetic drug. All local anesthetic drugs used today have common structure, lipophilic part and hydrophilic part, connected by link either an ester, which is the ester group, or an amide, which is an amide group. Both groups have similar pharmacological action and systemic side effects. Classification. The ester group are hydrolyzed rapidly by plasma choline esterase. Example, procaine, chloroprocaine, and tetracaine. The amide group, which is more commonly used in our practice, are metabolized slowly in the liver and then excreted in urine and bile. Example, lidocaine, pupovacaine, ropovacaine, and so on. Xylocaine, also known as lidocaine or lignocaine. The most popular amide local anesthetic in current use. It has a rapid onset, 10 to 15 minutes, and a short duration, about 60 minutes. It is a safe, effective, and can be used in all types of regional anesthesia. Dose limited to 7 mg per kg with epinephrine and 4 to 5 mg per kg without. This is the toxic dose. Epinephrine increases the duration up to 5 times. The, the concentration used clinically for different techniques are for local infiltration 0.5% for North Block. 1 to 2 percent and we also have for mouthwash and jelly which is 2 percent and ointment for epidural is 1.5 to 2 percent and spinal is 5 percent anesthesia other uses of xylocaine is to treat ventricular dysthresmias it is also used to suppress the hemodynamic response to tracheal intubation before induction of anesthesia. As when we do put the endotracheal tube, there is a rapid increase in the heart rate and hypertension. By giving xylocaine before this procedure, this will minimize this effect. Pupivacaine is another example, is an amide local anesthetic with markedly delayed onset, 20 to 30 minutes, more potent than, than xylocaine, and with longer duration of action, three to five hours, it is more toxic than xylocaine and can cause severe cardiac arrhythmias and irreversible cardiovascular collapse, which is very difficult to treat. It causes more sensory than motor block, it is not recommended for local IV anesthesia. Epinephrine does not greatly prolong its effect. The concentration used clinically are as follows. For local infiltration, 0.25%. For nerve block and epidural and spinal anesthesia, 0.5%. And more diluted, 0.125% for post-operative pain relief. The maximum safe dose is 
2 to 3 milligram per kg with or without a Ropivacaine is a long acting amide local anesthetic agent and structurally related to pupivacaine. Local action similar to pupivacaine but produce less motor block, thus allowing analgesia with less motor component. And this is ideal for the use in obstetric purpose. Rupivacaine is safer than pupivacaine because it is less cardiotoxic, more rapidly cleared from the circulation, and less toxic to the CNS. The available concentration is 5 mg per milliliter. Uses of local anesthesia in our practice To provide regional anesthesia for surgery To provide post-operative and chronic pain control Attenuate the pressure response in tracheal intubation Decrease coughing during intubation and extubation Antiarrhythmic drug Toxicity of local anesthetic drugs It causes systemic toxicity by local anesthetic drug block impulse transmission in both peripheral nerves and central nervous system. Factor affecting toxicity The dose given, volume and concentration of the drug. The use of vasoconstrictor The vascularity of the site of injection The rate of absorption of the drug very rapid from the mucous membrane the rate of metabolism of the drug if there is any liver disease or such hypersensitivity of the patient clinical manifestation there is allergic reaction and systemic toxicity manifestation the allergy to local anesthetic is rare and is more common associated with the ester group than with the amide group. This reaction may include dermatitis, bronchospasm, and anaphylaxis. While the systemic toxicity, the effect on CNS, it manifests as initial excitation followed by depression. The manifestation presented in chronological order with increasing plasma drug concentration are light headedness, circumoral numbness and confusion, dry tongue, then muscle twitches, tremors, auditory tinnitus, and visual hallucination. Then major convulsions occurs, then coma and respiratory arrest while the cardiovascular toxicity manifestation they are due to direct effect on the myocardium and on peripheral vascular resistance which cause vasodilatation initially presented as excitatory symptoms such as tachycardia and hypertension then followed by decreased cardiac output hypotension bradycardia and ventricular arrhythmias. Finally, circulatory arrest. Most toxic reaction of local anesthetic drug are preventable by avoid the use of toxic dose, avoid accidental intravenous injection by repeated aspiration during injection, avoiding the use of high concentration, especially with epidural and IV local anesthesia. Using vasoconstrictor if large doses are needed. Avoiding local anesthesia used in patients with allergic history to these drugs. Adequate monitoring for early detection of toxicity. Management of toxicity of local anesthesia. Treatment is mainly symptomatic and supportive. Resuscitation equipment should be available all the time. 
therapy is directed to maintain an adequate ventilation and circulation oxygen tracheal intubation and mechanical ventilation may be needed control convulsions by drugs like diazepam midazolam thiopentone and propofol lipid infusion may decrease local anesthesia toxicity and improves success of resuscitation from local anesthesia overdose the circulatory collapse should be treated by aggressive use of vasopressor enotropic agent fluid and cpr if necessary cardiac toxicity for pupivacaine is almost always fatal epinephrine and fluid therapy are the treatment of choice for anaphylaxis i hope you enjoyed this lecture thank you